بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم احمد وصلی علی رسول الکریم اما بعد ٹوڈے آئی ونٹ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ سم تھنگ ویری بیسک بٹ ویری امپورٹنٹ اسپیشلی ون اٹ کمس ٹو اسلامک اسکٹالوجی اٹس گریٹ ٹو نو گڈ انفارمیشن اٹس گریٹ ٹو نو دیٹ یو نو دیٹ وٹ از دا بلو بیم پروجیکٹ اور اٹس گریٹ ٹو نو اباؤٹ دی اکلٹ And it's great to know about so many things. But the most important thing to know uh, that is that as these tribulations happen is that it is important, extremely important, extremely important, utterly important that you build a relationship that's authentic with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the Prophet said وسلم, that unless you pray to Allah like the man that is drowning, you will not be saved from the tribulations. So <clears throat> in this regard, I want to put these, inshallah, if Allah wills, these seeds in our mind and let it grow um, with these verses of the Quran. Okay. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhan nas, O mankind, أنتم الفقراء You are فقراء You are completely dependent upon Allah And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to give two examples of, his, of your complete dependency upon Him The beginning and the end As you will see يا أيها الناس O mankind أنتم الفقراء إلى الله O mankind you are completely dependent And in complete poverty and in complete need to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can't take a breath without Him. You can't even know what's right and what's wrong and what's good and what's not good without His permission. Wallahu huwa al ghaniyul hamid. And it is in fact Allah who is al ghani, the self sufficient. He doesn't need you. You know, Allah didn't create you. So because you, uh, that he needs you, no. And he's Hamid, and he's all praiseworthy. He doesn't need you to praise him. He doesn't need you for anything. You're not going to make Allah rich. You're not going to help Allah in any way. Your, whatever you think you know or do know is from Allah. And Allah created you for the reasons that will come. But the point is, you're utterly dependent upon him. Ya ayuhan nas, O mankind, antumul fuqara'u ila Allah. O mankind, you are utterly in dependency to Allah Azza wa Jal. Wallahu huwa al-ghaniyul hamid. And Allah is al-ghani and al-hamid. Right? Uh, he, does, he's, he doesn't need anything from you. In yasha' yudhibukum. And if he wills, he can do away with you. He doesn't need you. إِنْ يَشَأْ يُذْهِبُكُمْ وَيَأْتِ بِخَلْقٍ جَدِيدٍ And he, come, he can come with a new creation. He doesn't need you. He doesn't need mankind. He doesn't need you. And if he wants to remove you, he can remove you. And he can replace you. Okay, the way he replaced shaitan with others. And so Allah doesn't need you. And how come you're in utter dependency of Allah? This is the first point. Number one, He doesn't need you to that degree that if He wants, He can get rid of you. But His wisdom and His hikmah and His knowledge uh, maintains that you should be created and you should exist. And over here I want to mention something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew everything He could create. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew everything that he, that he, meaning from everything he could create, what he will create. And from everything that he could create, what he will not create. And you're one of those things that Allah chose to create. And you're completely dependent upon that will that he had to create you rather than not create you. And just as he willed to create you, there's so many things he willed to create. And in his wisdom, he decided, I don't want this anymore. And he goes. He removed those things. Okay, like for example, just as an example, could be things like dinosaurs. Okay. And so 
يا أيها الناس أو من كان أنتم الفقراء إلى الله you're completely needy of Allah you need him for every breath والله هو الغني الحميد he is self-sufficient self-praiseworthy إن يشاء يذهبكم ويأتي بخلق جديد and if he wants he can just remove you and come with something new the scholars of Islam say that why did Allah put us uh, on earth without asking us they said this was the Jabariya of Allah, Jabariyatul Hamida. This was the, the, the compulsion of Allah, being Allah, His Jabr, His power, that is praiseworthy. That if He created you, you were something He wanted to make. He, he could have known about you, that He can create you, and He could have decided not to create you. So you're in utter, utter, utter need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَا ذَلِكَ عَلَى اللَّهِ بِعَزِيز and this is not difficult for Allah. You know, the dhalika is to emphasize. وَمَا ذَلِكَ And that is not at all difficult for Allah. That He can get rid of you. Do you think that's, that Allah needs you? No. Do you think Allah is dependent upon Bill Gates or people like that? No. Astaghfirullah. وَمَا ذَلِكَ عَلَى اللَّهِ بِعَزِيز And that is not difficult for Him. And the other reason, you're poverty stricken and completely dependent upon Him. وَلَا تَزِرُ وَازِرَةٌ وِذْرَ أُخْرَى Because no soul will carry the burden of the other. You're poverty stricken in this world. You were poverty stricken before this world. Before he decided to create you, but he decided to create you. And then you will be pow poverty, you will be completely needy before him in the next world. وَلَا تَزِرُ وَازِرَةٌ وِزْرَ أُخْرَى And in this way, every person is an orphan because everyone will carry their own weight of their good and bad deeds. وَلَا تَزِرُ وَازِرَةٌ وِزْرَ أُخْرَى وَإِن تَدْعُوا مُثْقَلَةٌ إِلَى حِمْلِهَا And if somebody who is مُثْقَلَةٌ carrying a lot of weight of his sins if he's weighed down by his sins, he says, oh, I'm so, you know, I'm weighed down. Somebody needs to help me. In this world, you got a lot of luggage. Somebody might see you and try to help you, right? You're weighed down by something. Somebody might help you. You're used to that. You can call somebody. You can pay somebody. But not in the hereafter. You're all alone. وَإِن تَدْعُوا مُثْقَلَةٌ إِلَى حِمْلِهَا And if somebody's overweighed with his sins, he tries to call somebody to take some of that burden off him. لا يحمل منه شيء. He will not be able to remove that burden on him by even one atom. Nothing. لا يحمل منه شيء ولو كان ذا قربة. Even if that is a relative, there'll be you'll be all alone. And not even your relative will help you. And you will be all alone. And you think you're poverty stricken in this world for every breath you take? You think you're poverty stricken because you didn't decide to create yourself. You didn't decide how many heartbeats you have. You didn't decide how many breaths you will have. But you will be even more poverty and in need in the next life. Which is the real world. وَلَا تَزِرُ وَازِرَةٌ وِزْرَ أُخْرَى وَإِن تَدْعُوا مُثْقَلَةٌ إِلَى حِمْلِهَا لَا يُحْمَلْ مِنْهُ شَيْئًا وَلَوْ كَانَ وَلَوْ كَانَ ذَا قُرْبَى إِنَّمَا تُنْذِرُ الَّذِينَ يَخْشَوْنَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَيْبُ إِنَّمَا Indeed only. This is known as hasr in Arabic language. Just only these, this is, this is all it is. Okay? People who know and don't know that they're in need of Allah. إِنَّمَا تُنْذِرَ الَّذِينَ يَخْشَوْنَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَيْبِ Indeed, the warning is only for those who fear Allah. Who fear Allah? Those who have a feeling that they need Allah. If you know you need Allah, then you'll fear Allah. And if you fear Allah, you know you need Allah. إِنَّمَا تُنْذِرُ الَّذِينَ يَخْشَوْنَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَيْبِ Indeed, the warning is only for those. And only those can benefit from the warning that what? Who fear Allah in the unseen. وَأَقَامُوا الصَّلَاةِ And they established the prayers. 
وَمَنْ تَزَكَّى And then the, the purpose, the means is وَمَنْ تَزَكَّى And whoever purifies himself فَإِنَّمَا يَتَزَكَّى لِنَفْسِهِ He purifies himself for his own self. If you're praising Allah, it's for your own self. If you're doing dua to Allah, it's for yourself. If you praise Allah, it's for yourself. If you fear Allah, it is for yourself. Allah doesn't need it. وَإِلَى اللَّهِ الْمَصِيرُ And to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is your final return. You need Allah in the Day of Judgment more than you even need Him in this world. You need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Day of Judgment more than you'll need Him even in your grave. You will need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so much that if you don't fear Him, that you'll be in trouble. And if you don't know you need Allah, you're in trouble. You can have all the knowledge of the hereafter. And you can know COVID and Circus 19, and you can know everything. You can have all the ideas and all the theories and everything. But if you don't have the fear, and if you don't know you know Allah, then in the end of the day, when you die, the person who feared Allah, is the one that will be successful, regardless of what he knew or didn't know. So, <clears throat> no one is special, and no one has special knowledge that keeps, that can, uh, you can say, sustain him away from this ultimate reality. Meaning, if I know Circus 19, Circus 19, and I know all the conspiracies of the world, that's good, that is useful. As an ummah, as a people, it is necessary. But at the end of the day, when I'm all alone, if I wasn't doing my part properly and wasn't having an authentic relationship with Allah, then I will drown. I will drown because I didn't know Allah. I really needed Allah. And I was thinking I can depend upon my knowledge. Just like when Musa and Khidr, one of the lessons of that is that don't depend upon your knowledge. You have to depend upon the idea of Khidr, the man who has a relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that will guide you. The seven sleepers didn't necessarily have knowledge and maps of how to make the, their hijrah. They had a relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? Zulqarnain didn't necessarily know how to stop Ya'juj and Ma'juj. But he had primarily a relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah let him do what he did. And this is what is needed in these times. أقول قولي هذا أستغفر الله لي ولكم وليسعى المسلمين والمسلمات السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته